This is Coventry. The city is one of the UK's youngest before our well. and most resourceful. Are we allowed to Google it? A group of young apprentices are joining the UK City of Culture Trust. Seeing us through the highs yes, oh my God, yes. Oh, yes. and the lows. Oh. But just how well do they know the city they'll be championing? Two competing teams. 14 hopeful apprentices. This is... You're fired. The Apprentices. Hello. Hello, Apprentices. Today, you're going to be competing against the other half of the Apprentice team to find out who knows the most about Coventry. I would like to assure you we won't actually be firing you if you get them all wrong. Even though you won't be fired, though, there are some stakes to this. The winning team will have permanent floating rights. Any questions? Which artist created the huge tapestry of Christ that hangs in Coventry Cathedral? OK, OK. I asked this question to my boyfriend and he said Leonardo DiCaprio. So I think <laughs> all guys Jeff, guess a bit better. <laughs> we can give you a clue. His initials are GS. Yes. Uh, one of the Coventry University buildings is Graham Sutherland. Maybe it's that. Ooh! Was that? Yes, there! I literally studied in that building for about a year. Can you name two Coventry landmarks that opened in 1958? Is it the Belgrade? I was looking just about to see that. Uh, uh, the Coventry Market? Um, it will get stuck in your head for days and days and days. Coventry Market. Coventry Market. <laughs> <laughs> the Rico Arena held its first concert on the 23rd of September 2005, and the bar in the Eon Lounge overlooking the pitch was subsequently named after the artist who performed on that day. But who was it? This is before our name as well, I know, well, Harry and Erin, I, I think you would have been like, well, like five then. <laughs> In 2005, oh God, I would have been two. Oh my God, I'm so old. Two. I would have been two. Oh my God. Okay. Don't, don't do I would have been one. Was it an English artist or like international? He's Canadian. Okay, that might help. Oh, was it Mira? Yes, Sergeant. <laughs> no, I've never heard of him. The Belgrade Theatre's annual pantomime has had the same writer, director and dame for over 20 years now. But what is his name? Ian Lachlan. Is that how you say his name? Lachlan? Do the initials again. Uh, it's I L. Ian Lannister. Ian Lau. If there are four professional theatres in Coventry, can you name them all? Belgrade Theatre. Belgrade Theatre Absolute Slash Shop Front. Warwick Arts Centre is theatre. Yep. Albany Theatre, is that? Oh, I the Albany! The... Warwick Arts Centre. The other team had Beth in. Oh, what an advantage. Half a point? Yes, absolutely. Three quarters. Maybe three quarters, <laughs> yeah. Which Coventry artist recently won the BBC Sound of 2021? Terry Hall. How salute. How salute. Coventry is famously the home of which record label founded in 1979, which became synonymous with a particular style of music? Two-tone. Records. When was Coventry named UK City of Culture for 2021? Month and year is fine, but you can have a bonus point if you get the exact date. 2017. Was that the end of 2017? It's December. Oh, um, December. December. It was a Thursday. I know that. Oh my god, it was the... I'm pretty sure it was the 7th, because my dad's birthday is the 8th. It was the 7th of December, but I'm going to give you that bonus point for the Thursday, because that's, like, excellent memory. Culture Coventry is an organisation responsible for looking after which three arts and heritage sites? Would one of them be uh, Lady Herbert Gardens, or whatever the thing is called? Um... Nearly, so nearly there. What's next to Lady Herbert's Gardens? Coventry Transport Museum. Herbert Art Gallery. So two are museums and galleries, and one is a historical site. Transport uh, Museum? Oh, it's not in the city centre, this one, so it's a bit harder. We're always so close. There's always the one. 
uh, would it be the Lunt Roman Port then? You might have gone there on a school trip. Lunt Roman Port. Yeah. It's the Lunt Roman Port. Oh my port. god, yeah. Which nativity star has also come to Coventry when they turned on the Christmas lights in the city centre? Is it the one that's on The Hobbit? Yes, yes. Yeah, what's oh, Elijah name? Wood. No. No, I need to know his net name. I spoke about this in an Xbox party last night. Oh, uh, I can see his face. Was... If I describe his face, does that count? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I don't even know what we're talking about in an Xbox party. Do you know from Sherlock and Watson? Yeah, yeah. Watson! What's his real name? Martin Freeman. And he's short. Yeah. Um, he's got like curly hair. Uh... Do you want initials? It might help. Yeah. M F. Martin, Martin. Can you name the Coventry born inventor of the jet engine? Oh, <laughs> Terry Hall. Terry Hall. Sir Frank Whittle. I know he's got his statue outside of the Coventry tra Transport Museum. I go past him every day. When did the Coventry Blitz take place? I want to say 1940. 1940. Yep. Do you, anyone want to take a guess at the month or the day? Or oh, if it fall, fell on a Thursday? <laughs> <laughs> what events are you most excited for in 2021? Or what anything are you most excited for in 2021? It doesn't have to be an event. Like, I would just say the whole journey, like just seeing how we all sort of progress. I'm really excited for Pride Month. I'm really excited to get some like feeling of community back just like in events and people coming together because obviously we haven't had that during this time yeah, the so. cbx festival as well yeah finally seeing all the you know we've been working hard towards like come to life i would say just like getting stuck in as many things as possible yeah i think we've got a real good opportunity to do make it our own just to put um a smile back on people's faces <laughs> I, I, I have to say, like, I do think the other team may have tipped you to the post, but given that you had, like, half as many people, it's a pretty valiant effort. Well, all right then, guys. Well, thank you for your time and enjoy the rest of your day and you're fired. Not <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Bye. Have a good day.